IOPS is a common performance measurement used to benchmark computer storage devices like hard disk drives, solid state drives, and storage area networks. As with any benchmark, IOPS numbers published by storage device manufacturers do not guarantee real world application performance. IOPS can be measured with applications, such as IOMETER, as well as IOZONE and FIO and is primarily used with servers to find the best storage configuration. The specific number of IOPS possible in any system configuration will vary greatly, depending upon the variables the tester enters into the program, including the balance of read and write operations, the mix of sequential and random access patterns, the number of worker threads and queue depth as well as the data block sizes. There are other factors which can also affect the IOPS results including the system setup, storage drivers, OS background operations, etc. Also, when testing SSDs in particular, there are preconditioning considerations that must be taken into account. Performance Characteristics The most common performance characteristics measured are sequential and random operations. Sequential operations access locations on the storage device in a contiguous manner and are generally associated with large data transfer sizes, for example, 128 KB. Random operations access locations on the storage device in a non-contiguous manner and are generally associated with small data transfer sizes, for example, 4 KB. The most common performance characteristics are as follows. For HDDs and similar electromechanical storage devices, the random IOPS numbers are primarily dependent upon the storage device's random seek time, whereas for SSDs and similar solid state storage devices, the random IOPS numbers are primarily dependent upon the storage device's internal controller and memory interface speeds. On both types of storage devices the sequential IOPS numbers typically indicate the maximum sustained bandwidth that the storage device can handle. Often sequential IOPS are reported as a simple megabyte per second number as follows. Some HDDs will improve in performance as the number of outstanding IOs increases. This is usually the result of more advanced controller logic on the drive performing command queuing and reordering commonly called either tagged command queuing or native command queuing. Most commodity SATA drives either cannot do this, or their implementation is so poor that no performance benefit can be seen. Enterprise class SATA drives, such as the Western Digital Raptor and Seagate Barracuda NL will improve by nearly 100% with deep queues. High-end SCSI drives more commonly found in servers, generally show much greater improvement, with the Seagate Savio exceeding 400 IOPS a year or more than doubling its performance. While traditional HDDs have about the same IOPS for read and write operations, most NAND flash-based SSDs are much slower writing than reading due to the inability to rewrite directly into a previously written location forcing a procedure called garbage collection. This has caused hardware test sites to start to provide independently measured results when testing IOPS performance. Newer flash SSD drives such as the Intel X25E have much higher IOPS than traditional hard disk drives. In a test done by XSSIST, using Iometer, 4 KB random transfers, 70-30 read-write ratio, Q depth 4, the IOPS delivered by the Intel X25E64 GBG1 started around 10,000 IOPs, and dropped sharply after 8 minutes to 4,000 IOPS, and continued to decrease gradually for the next 42 minutes. IOPS vary between 3,000 to 4,000 from around the 50th minutes onwards for the rest of the 8 plus hours test run. Even with the drop in random IOPS after the 50th minute, the X25E still has much higher IOPS compared to traditional hard disk drives. Some SSDs, including the OCZ Revo Drive 3X2 PCIe using the SanForce controller, have shown much higher sustained write performance that more closely matches the read speed. Examples, some Coma Moni accepted averages for random I.O. operations, calculated as 1 slash, seek plus latency, equals IOPS. Solid state devices, see also, instructions per second, performance per watt, references.